Hello everybody and welcome to another Alfred Hitchcock Presents Review. Today it is Season 1, Episode 32, The Babysitter, starring Thelma Ritter as Lottie and Mary Wicks as Blanche. And this is an average episode in my opinion. The plot is kind of uh, underwhelming and not really all that interesting, but Thelma Ritter's excellent performance uh, is very entertaining and I would say at least makes this a watchable episode at least once. So we start with our main character, Lottie, and she's being questioned by a detective uh, about a woman named Clara who has uh, been killed. And it turns out that Lottie was a babysitter for her and her husband that night when it happened. And Lottie's very evasive. She doesn't really want to answer the questions, which is interesting. And then her friend named Blanche comes by and she tells Lottie, you're in the paper, you're all over the place. And Lottie doesn't seem too interested in this. And her and Blanche have a chat. And... Lottie actually talks about the woman who was killed Clara, and she doesn't talk about her very nicely. She says she was always running around with other guys, being unfaithful to her husband. So you can tell Lottie definitely sides with the husband in this case. And then they bring up some suspects and talk, uh, just things like that. Nothing uh, really that exciting. So we go to the next scene and we get a flashback, which is pretty interesting. And we see Mrs. Nash and Mr. Nash. And it's notable that Mrs. Nash is the one doing all the yelling. They're in an argument. And Lottie definitely sympathizes with Mr. Nash. She says what a wonderful man he is. And things like this, which will be uh, interesting later on in the episode. And at this point, Lottie, uh, who's the babysitter, comes out and actually yells at Mrs. Nash. But Mr. Nash uh, breaks this up. Or there might have been a real fight. And we can obviously tell that Lottie really has a thing for Mr. Nash. It's also interesting to note that this flashback uh, comes from Lottie's point of view. So that's interesting. So we go back to the present at this point. And Blanche and Lottie are laughing. They're kind of just talking. There's some uh, kind of odd humor in this episode, but I guess it's okay. I could take it or leave it, honestly. And Blanche basically gets around to asking Lottie if she did it, but this scene doesn't really go anywhere past that. There's a lot of scenes in this episode that seem to kind of just be there and not really go anywhere in my opinion, but it's entertaining enough. So then there's a short scene with Lottie and her daughter, whose name is Janie, I believe. This doesn't really go anywhere either. I'm not really sure uh, what purpose the character of Janie serves in the episode, honestly, but she's just a concerned daughter. I guess it's fine. So then Lottie uh, answers the door and a Mr. DeMario is there and it turns out he was the man that was out with Clara the night she was murdered and he basically threatens Lottie and tells her she better not say anything or say too much or she could be in trouble and he's an obvious mislead right away. There's no way that uh, this Mr. DeMario would be the killer. I didn't think this was that great of a mislead. That's really this character's only purpose. So Blanche uh, and Janie uh, have a talk. And you can tell that Blanche is actually a little suspicious of Lottie still. But it's another scene that's kind of just there. And then Lottie comes in and it turns out that she bought some new clothes, some new exercise equipment. And you can tell that uh, she wants to uh, impress uh, this Mr. Nash who is uh, now widowed obviously I guess. And this scene was pretty humorous. So then the detective come back, uh, comes back. Uh, to the house and he questions Lottie and of course Lottie's scared at this point and she doesn't say anything she gets upset and starts crying so the detective leaves he basically gets nothing out of her so then after uh, Lottie's daughter Janie leaves I think Janie's babysitting in her place because Lottie is not feeling well Lottie is then by herself but she's well enough to write Mr. Nash a letter we get another uh, flashback uh, and once again we just learned she's very fond of Mr. Nash and we actually get a scene of them together from the night of the incident. I have to say this scene's a bit odd. Uh, it's just kind of a strange scene. You gotta watch it for yourself. So then we go back to the present in the end of the episode and in a twist Mr. Nash comes to visit Lottie and Mr. Nash right away we now know that he is the killer as this guy looks very strange. He doesn't say anything. Uh, actually I don't think this character says anything through the whole episode which is kind of an interesting way to portray the character and Nash basically after he burns the letter actually goes after and uh, I believe he uh, eliminates Lottie so things didn't end too well for Lottie who was a little too trusting for her own good and uh, Alfred Hitchcock explains uh, in his closing narration that Mr. Nash didn't really get away with this either uh, in his usual way of explaining things. So overall, this is just kind of an average episode. It's honestly just kind of there. But if you're a fan of Thelma Ritter, I think you'll get some enjoyment out of it. So I give The Babysitter a 2.5 out of 5. 
just an average episode, probably worth watching once. So 2.5 out of 5 for the babysitter. As always, thank you very much for watching.